Welcome to American Architecture Now. Today we'll be talking to Kevin Roche. This wasn't the guy that played golf or went sailing. He was architecture 24 hours a day. Kevin is incredibly important to the history of American architecture in the second half of the 20th century. For more than four decades, he was the architect to the city's greatest art institution. That's unheard of. Whoever thought of putting lawns and gardens on the roof of the building, making a building as a park, as a landscape? He really wanted it to be integrated with the surrounding community. The Ford Foundation had a tremendous impact. I think it's changed architectural thinking from that point forward. Kevin has this saying, ego in architecture is dangerous. I think that's a little coy on his part. He has a massive ego. And he can be dangerous, too. <laughs> He said, you want a green card? And I said, no, I don't think I need one of those. You might as well take one. He said, I got lots of them. <laughs> Everybody loves Kevin, the person. So charming, so Irish. You all, I don't know what you do in the water in there, but it's always amazing. He'll come in the side door one way, back door another, with ideas you never think about, but they're always concerned with how the building works for the people. I never think of these things as Kevin Roach buildings. I just happen to be there poking at it, but I'm not the beast. The beast is sitting there resting. In a way, I wish I'd been a poet because I had a great love for that. It's so much easier because you don't have clients. 